You know, the world of motion is a really, truly untapped source of great creative photography. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson and welcome to Understanding Exposure. I find myself here in the neighborhood of Little India, which is in Singapore, and I'm really excited about what's going on before me. And what's going on before me, as you can clearly see, is a lot of traffic on this busy road, Sarangoon Road to be exact. But why is that exciting? Because in front of that traffic, along this green fence, as you can see here, we've got a bunch of bicycles that are parked. And in particular, I put my focus on this one particular bike. Now take a look at that bike and you can see for yourself there's a lot of activity behind that bike, cars and buses particularly going through that scene that I've composed. What I'm going to do is very simply set my exposure for a slow shutter speed, in this case a simple fifteenth of a second, and subsequently at a fifteenth of a second I adjust my aperture to get an f16 that now indicates at a fifteenth of a second I'm one third stop underexposed. That to me is perfect for a shot like this. So with that in mind I'm now going to simply wait and look what's coming. You'll see here momentarily I've got a red bus and perfect timing. Nobody's walking in front of me and press the shutter, press the shutter, press the shutter, press the shutter. Take a look at those truly exciting examples. I'm sure you'll agree without the bus passing through compared this to this next shot where there is no activity behind it it's a stupid old bland photograph of a bicycle against a pretty dull gray background roadway again compare that to the shot you just saw when the bus went by and i think you'll agree we now have a truly exciting and compelling image all because of the wonderful world of motion and again, this woman just walks right through. That's the wonderful world of motion I'm talking about. The other thing I want to say also is that yesterday, which is why I came back to this place, it was raining here. And surprisingly, that same bike is still here. And just finish this off by sharing with you a rainy day bicycle shot. Same exact shutter speed, but because the light levels were somewhat darker, my aperture in this next photograph you're looking at was only about f.8 or excuse me f 8.0 so the point being you got a wonderful world of motion in this case we're contrasting that with a stationary subject that being a bike just another thought to keep your creative juices flowing and until next time this is brian peterson saying you keep shooting